All right, welcome to AP Calculus BC. Uh, this is the syllabus. Uh, if you have me for Calc AB, then it's pretty much the same, same system, same grade breakdown, same practices. Uh, the uh, what we cover adds a little bit. Um, now I would say the. We're, we're still going to have retests, uh, maximum 90% scores. So I'll give you your highest one at the end of the semester. If you have any over 90, full credit. Um, and I would say the big thing is that about, about uh, half of the BC test is AB material. So um, this is a class that some schools teach in one year, AB and BC all together. And while I guess that's possible, I think that sounds pretty intense and crazy. And uh, just because you can cover everything doesn't mean you'll know it well enough. So I kind of like our approach, which I think is also pretty common of spreading out over two years, but also um, so anyways, the interesting thing is, is that you're going to get two scores on the BC tests. Um, you're going to get, a, an overall score, which is, uh, AB and BC material, everything. And then you're going to get a sub score, uh, which is just the, um, AB material. So you're going to get a potentially a new AB score. Um, and if it's higher than last year's, then that's your new AB score. So you can actually raise your AB score. Uh, so you can redeem yourself. Uh, so, I mean, anyone who didn't get a five, uh, then, uh, here's your chance to get that higher score. Um, and the other good news about it is if you're really good at the AB material, well, that's like half of your overall score. And so, you know, we generally do very well. Um, I I'm not just looking for a hundred percent pass rate. I'm looking for a hundred percent fives in BC. Like that's to me, the goal I've had a hundred percent pass rates plenty of times. I've had all fours and fives. Most of my students get fives because half the material is material from last year. We are going to cover that material again quickly throughout the year as it comes up. A lot of the BC material is we're going to be taking AB ideas and extending them <clears throat> to uh, deeper ideas, more complicated ideas. So we take one dimensional motion to two dimensional motion. We look at some other uh, graphing uh, polar or uh, different coordinate systems, but we apply the same ideas. Um, we learned some new integration techniques to add on to our integration techniques from last year. So a lot of it's just building off of what we did last year and you guys should have a really good foundation in that. And, uh, so we'll go through the AB stuff quickly, which will give us lots of time to do the new BC stuff and take that on slowly and do really good at that. And, uh, hopefully have a lot of fun at the same time. So, um, that's the syllabus and uh, your homework is going to be a, a worksheet that says summary of calculus so far. She kind of hits on a bunch of different things from last year. So you're going to try that just to get you warmed up. And the first unit of this uh, class is pretty much going to be like the first three units of AB all scrunched into one quick one, just all that review of algebra, geometry, algebra two, pre-calc skills necessary to do well in calculus, A, B, and B, C. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll give you an opportunity to do that again. And this first unit hopefully will, uh, you know, be a good one for you. Good test score because it's all review, nothing new in unit one yet. So a bunch of, uh, and it's, it's not much calculus either. It's a lot of that just prerequisite material. So there you go.